MG Automobile Troubleshooting. If you're looking for help fixing your MG automobile, look no further. Our comprehensive MG Automobile Troubleshooting Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. My fuel economy is falling. If the engine runs efficiently it will burn fuel at a better rate but if parts of the system start to wear out and are not replaced you will find the mileage will drop. Keeping on top of things like your fuel and air filters. O2. And mass air sensors. With a proactive servicing regime. Will keep your car running efficiently. The bottom line is that fuel economy depends on how well you maintain the engine. Making sure that the vehicle is regularly serviced. With appropriate oil changes. Filter changes and new spark plugs can make all the difference when it comes to mileage. The car gives out excessive emissions. The emission system is designed to keep pollution to a minimum while making sure your car runs properly. The system includes a lot of sensitive equipment that can fail from time to time and these cause a variety of different problems in the car. For example, an O2 sensor that is faulty may start affecting the fuel mixture, leading to inefficiencies in the running and economy of the vehicle. Battery. If the connections on your battery become corroded, there is no longer a connection to the rest of the car. This can keep you from starting. Clean the posts and try to start the car. Additionally, the battery may be dead. Take a battery tester and test the cranking amps to see if they are weak. If you do not have a battery tester, you can test it by jump starting your vehicle. If it starts right away, the battery is bad and needs to be replaced. Replace it and clean the connections. The steering wheel is shaking. There are a number of reasons why a steering wheel shakes when driving a vehicle. Damaged suspension components or wheel bearings are usually to blame if this happens immediately after you start the car and pull away. If the wheel shakes at higher speeds it is more often an issue with tire. Wheel balance. To resolve this you will need to take the car for a proper mechanical inspection. It could be as simple a fix as getting your wheels aligned. The brakes are squeaking. Grinding. The brake system will start to wear out just like any other moving part you have in the car. Brakes are vital. They are essential to make sure you can stop safety so any kind of brake-related problems, including unusual noise or a soft brake pedal, should be taken care of by a professional mechanic at the earliest possible opportunity. There are some minor issues that can cause brakes to squeak or squeal but once you start to notice grinding you definitely need to get them replaced. The tires are wearing unevenly. A certain amount of wear over time is normal but if you find that the tires wear down quickly this indicates a potential problem. If there is vibration through the steering wheel or you find that your tires are wearing unevenly you should ask someone to check the vehicle. It could be that the suspension needs alignment. In addition, sometimes tire problems are caused by external factors or by defects in manufacture. Fix a dim headlight. Most DIYers think a dim headlight is caused by a poor connection on the power side of the circuit. That's possible, but in most cases, the dim headlight is caused by corrosion on the ground connection. So check the electrical connector for corrosion and then clean the ground connection. Remove the electrical connector that plugs into the headlight. Look for signs of corrosion or melted plastic from excessive heat. If you find corrosion, clean it using electrical contact cleaner and a small wire brush. Fix a squealing belt. Of all the car problems you might encounter, a squealing belt is probably the most annoying. The high-pitched squeal is produced when the rubber belt loses its grip and slips around the pulleys. In rare cases, a worn slow-moving alternator, pump, or AC compressor bearing or component misalignment can cause a perfectly good belt to squeal. But in most cases, the belt slips because it's worn, is loose, or has been contaminated with oil or coolant. You can diagnose all those problems yourself with a visual inspection, a belt wear gauge, and a spray water bottle. SourceFamilyHandyman.com